Okay, so with Farm the Premises, we wanted to make it as easy as possible for a grower to be able to, they've never used it, so out of the box, um, we're looking at like a 10 minute time frame to be able to just create fields, uh, import data, and then spit that data out as a report or um, to be able to create VRT maps. So one of the things with SGS Farm is they still need to work in conjunction with a pro customer or with someone from TopCon. Uh, we, the equation side of it, we kind of, I don't want to say removed, but we simplified it for the grower where they would just right click and import a template that already has the equation defined. So that way they don't have to worry about syntax, writing the mathematical formula. You know, they would work with their agronomist to do that, and just point to it, everything's done, then they just define inputs. So they say, you know, say you can change crop coefficient values or crop variance or input values for seeding rates and management zones. Uh, so we just tried to make it, you know, really simple. So say you didn't have a boundary or anything, you know, you can import an aerial image, you can get it for free, or we're going to interface with Bing, so you can click a button, get an image, draw your boundary based off that image, click a button, import management zones for soil types or whatever it is that you have a shapefile for, and then just hit another button to be able to spit that out as a map. Um, you know, you could define seeding rates or whatever it is, but we wanted to just try to simplify all the processes that we could is our kind of the, the focus behind this. So we wanted to make it so, you know, if the grower, all he wants to do is, hey, I just harvested this field, I just want to view a report, and then send that data to my dealer or my agronomist, let them make recommendations so I can spread them, so they could do that. Or they could go a little bit more in depth and say, okay, well, here's my yield. I want to create, say, management zones based off of yield values, maybe turn around and apply removal or something based on those yield values. So, you know, you can, if you can go as, as little or kind of a little bit as in-depth as you really want to is kind of what we wanted to present to the grower. Um, well, we're trying to get, you know, TopCon and AgCo dealers both to sell SGIS Farm. We're, uh, you know, we're trying to get that, trying to push that with machine sales as a way to add value. Because now that you have, a, say you bought a new machine, you have a nice monitor, you have a lot of good data, but what can you do with it once you get back, uh, back out of the field? You know, so we wanted to take SGIS Farm as a simple way where they could sit down, um, you know, and just be able to view, look at that data to see, you know, what's going right, what's going wrong, where can we improve, what do we need to do to improve. So the farmer can look at pictures of that, look at reports of that, and then he could talk to his dealer or if his dealer had an agronomist, which isn't necessary. You know, but if there was an agronomist on staff, then they could work with them to help improve that yield or, you know, whatever it is they're trying to do. So we're hoping dealers are going to offer tier one support. Uh, so dealers will be educated enough that they know how to use the software, how to work through some simple issues, uh, and how to work with the customer to help them figure out exactly what parts of the software really apply to their business. Um, you know, and then there's, we're always, say, tier two support where we can give more technical support if that's needed.